probably F1's most notorious playboy, James Hunt, who was a British driver. He drove for McLaren in the in the seventies. He famously had sex breakfast of champions embroidered on his overalls. What does um, that even really mean? <laughs> does that just mean like have sex in the morning? I guess. Yeah. I love sex. I mean. Yeah, if you if you have to embroider that onto your overalls, like that's <laughs> surely it's not it's not the most Playboy thing to do. Really. Yeah. Maybe it is. I don't Who sewed it on? Was it a patch? I, I think it, like... it was his mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was he one of iron on patches? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While you're saying my name on behind the college, you might say <laughs> this on as well. <laughs> but he was, obviously he had this reputation for being a massive shagger, but he was also a really good driver. He won the, the 1976 World Championship, had this really epic battle with Nicky Lauda, the, the Austrian driver, who at that time he was the, Nicky Lauda was the reigning champion. And he, during the 1976 season, he was leading the championship for, for most of the way, but kind of neck and neck with James Hunt. Until Nicky had a, a really, really terrible crash. Like he spun off the car, set on fire. He got really badly burned, inhaled loads of toxic fumes, ended up in a coma and they read him the last rites. So everyone's thinking he's a goner. He made this like miraculous recovery, somehow only missed two races um, and then came back with like his really big scar. He lost his ear, had like really bad scarring on his face, but because he missed those two races, James Hunt caught up with him in the championship by the final race. So it's like going into the it's like the season ending Japanese Grand Prix. James Hunt's, I think, three points behind Nicky Lauda. And he gets stationed at this plush hotel in Fuji in the, in the lead up to the race. And, you know, you'd think it's, he's got the biggest race of his career coming up. He could win the world championship. So you'd think he'd just, you know, get a few early nights and visualise victory but instead he invites along his best mate Barry Sheen who's the motorcycle world champion and the two of them were like basically the big British playboys of the 70s and they have this like two-week booze cocaine fueled bender at this hotel which also conveniently for them happens to be a stop-off for the British Airways cabin crew so basically every day there'd be a new cohort of stewardesses that are arriving at the hotel. And according to Alistair Caldwell, who's the, the McLaren team manager, he said, every morning James would bounce up to the girls in his shorts and bare feet and say, hello, I'm James Hunt, and take them straight upstairs for a party. This happened every day for a fortnight. <laughs> so he's basically just having this two-week orgy at the hotel in the run-up to the race day. And I think his his team were sort of tolerating it. It's a bit like, okay, whatever, James, like, if this is what you need to get you in the zone for the day, yeah, to, to let off some steam before the big race, then you go for it. But their patience is tested on race day when minutes before the start of the race, he's nowhere to be found. So they're all frantically searching around the paddock, trying to find James, when one of the mechanics finds this unlocked pit garage and comes in and finds James Hunt there with his trousers around his ankles with a with a local Japanese girl. <laughs> so so is this race day where he's shagging in the pit lane? Yeah, this was literally before the final race of the season where he's <laughs> he's like going for the title. Against Nicky Lauda. Against yeah. Nicky Lauda. Nicky Lauda has another another nightmare and uh, has to drop out of the race. Apparently, the reason is because he, he was struggling because he was unable to blink because of the burns from his crash. <laughs> yeah. so, that is nuts so, that you'd get back in a yeah, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so poor Nicky Lauda doesn't finish the race and James Hunt finishes third, which means he gets four points. So he ends up winning the title by one point. Wow. And true to form goes off on another enormous bender. Wow. 